I would start with the idea that the streets were here before cars were. Thank you for being here and taking a chance on an interesting project. So if I had to describe what curbed is in a sentence, it's really a way that we can demonstrate different ways the public realm can be used, different ways the public space can be used to support people as opposed to just cars. Renaissance Covington is a nonprofit that is focused on revitalizing our historic downtown. And so this project really highlights public space and builds connections and helps to enhance the walkability of our urban core. When I saw the application for Curb go live, I thought this would be a great opportunity, not just for my business, but also for downtown Covington. When you're going through all the proposals, what we'd like you to do is rank them one through five when you're going through the designs. So how do we, how do we show this on the wall? Just in general, we kind of have this appetite for innovation, for doing big, cool, exciting, challenging projects. We have a number of different parts that all need to work together. So integrating those four systems into one parklet that works without maintenance and is durable enough to survive weather, it's not too hard to build it tough enough. It's, it's more challenging to integrate all those things together. I mean, I think any project has those surprises that come up. I think in this project, it was really important that we got a lot of public input from the surrounding neighbors and the community. First of all, to make sure they understood what a parklet was, what its purpose is in the neighborhood, just to try and get as much input so that we could make those shifts in the location and the designs to make sure that everyone is heard and involved in the process. we were building it, we had a lot of random encounters with people as they would come by. It was like they didn't know what you were doing at first. Today is the unveiling of all five parklets. It's called Curbed Uncovered. We're walking from one side of downtown Covington to Mainstrass Village and unveiling each of the parklets as we go. One, two, three! It's really nice to see so many community members outside and supportive and, and, and they all walk to each one. The kids, they didn't even take a minute, they were like on it. They, the kids rushed almost every parkway. Once the adults got comfortable with the kids playing, they'd be like, oh, I want to try it out. It fits very well with the renovation that's coming to downtown Covington. It fits the theme of, of downtown Covington. The Curbed Project is so important to Covington. It brings so much life into the community. You want to go into a community where you can change people's perception of what a parklet can be. I think it's special in Covington because Covington isn't really prepared for it. It gives life to the area. It gives something to do. I hope it attracts people to move around Covington more and see some of the places that they might not have gone to. This is something that more communities should be trying. And take a little chance, invest in some art, and invest in public space, and people come and appreciate it. The smiling faces, the kids, the adults, the older people, the younger people, people who live here, people who are just visiting here, it's, it's kind of amazing to see them all coming together around parklets of all things.